Today we're going to look at a one-of-a-kind synthesizer which has its own unique patented oscillator system. This is Wave Razor. If you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. It defines itself as a futuristic synth and the main feature is that you can slice a waveform into different segments and each one can have a different pitch, wave shape, phase and so on. Not only that, with this scene you can go very deep in detail on what you want to do for sound design, which can be a bit overwhelming at first. But once you get the hang of it, you understand the true power of it. And I gotta say, despite being a head scratcher at first, it's very fun and inspiring to use. <laughs> If you end up finding this synth interesting and you want to buy it, please consider using my affiliate links down in the description. You can use them to buy anything else you want. Thank you so much. Now, as I said, the main feature is the slicing oscillator. And with this, you can get very extreme and out of control kind of sounds. When you see it for the first time, you can select any of the three oscillators and choose one of four segments. Then you can change the shape of that specific segment to the shape of the same segment of another waveform. Not only that, this oscilloscope in the middle will have an XY control, which will let you change the phase and the C of that segment, or the pitch and volume. It's a very unique and complex oscillator system that, as I said, is unique to this synth but it can give you results that are very interesting. For instance, when you detune one segment, it won't become dissonant, but it's not like syncing at all. It will have the wobbliness of something that's detuned, but it's still in tune. Now, I gotta say that this synth has a lot of features and it has a workflow that's different from anything else. So if I wanted to talk about every feature, it would be a video that lasts more than an hour and I don't like making videos that are too long. So instead of that, I'm going to focus on the features that I believe are the most important and impressive. Continuing with the oscillator, we can select the second right here and we will see the actual routing of uh, everything that this thing has to offer. This is a contextual matrix because each parameter will show you what's before and after that or also what's controlling it and what is this controlling. But let's stick to the oscillators for now. As you can see, we have a lot of parameters. Many of them are the ones that you find in the main screen, like tuning or phase or DC and volume. But we have extra parameters. The ones that are more interesting are actually the ones at the top because it will let you divide the waveform into more or less segments. We have the number of steps, which is the number of slices that we can modify and the step size, which will change the size of that step. And the way it works is that if we go lower, we will divide the waveform in more slices, but the steps are still four. That means that all the changes made to one step will be applied for the corresponding after counting. For instance, the first step, then the fifth, then the nine, and so on. At least that's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> So the idea is to play around with the number of steps and the step size and then with all of the other parameters to get weird results. And that makes this a very experimental synth.
That's why I think it's easy to get very weird and very interesting and unique sounds out of it. But that doesn't mean that you cannot make your regular stuff. Now, as good any good synthesizer, you need to actually add movement to make even better things. And of course, you can modulate almost every parameter, but how you set the modulators? Well, you have to go first to the mod tab, which is all the way to the left in the routing, then select a mod and then go to the matrix to select how the mod is going to be routed to a parameter. <laughs> I know it's convoluted compared to something like drag and drop from other synthesizers, but honestly, as I got used to it, I started to understand why is that. Because it's not only about the modulation per se, but how it's going to behave depending on the features that you're choosing. Still, this is a synthesizer that you have to take your time to explore, at least at the beginning. If you want free presets and samples and another way to connect with me, feel free to join my members page and also my Patreon. Both have the same benefits. Thank you so much. The three oscillators are then mixed and then you can send them to three different filters or send one filter to the other. On the filters, you can actually use also some effects like distortion or decimators or resonators or whatever else. After that we have the amp with the envelope of the amplitude. And finally we have three send effects. The variety of effects is very wide, but we also can find the typical ones like reverbs and delays, chorus and phasers. Now, I gotta say that the chorus and the phaser doesn't sound like I'm used to because, again, it's something that you have to program really in detail, so it's something that you need to get used to. So in one hand, it can be as musical as you want, but it's also seen to explore and take your time to create different sounds depending on the features that you choose. Because as you heard with oscillators, the change of a single slice can make a whole different sound. But again, it's a synth that you have to take slowly. That doesn't mean that you cannot make music with this. Again, it's a synthesizer, you can use it for whatever you want. But it's a different kind of synthesizer, so I understand that it may not be for everyone. Still, when I find weird, complex and very deep synthesizers, it's like a blow of fresh air for me, because I learn new stuff and I start seeing sound design in a different way. And that's why I like to test different things, from the most simple one to the more complex, like Wave Racer. Now, still another thing that I quite like is the amount of macros and controllers it has, because it would let you program very deeply sounds that will mutate in completely different things. So in that way, it's also fun to explore all the presets and just start changing these macros to get an idea of the possibilities of this synth. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's something that invites you to explore it and take your time in a really deep sound design session. For some that can be a waste of time, that's okay, I also love plugins that are straight to the point. But for me this kind of synth is fascinating in a very explorative way. But I want to know your opinion, so let me know in the comments what do you think about this synth. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time and bye bye.